I'm going to move to the crisis, the ongoing crisis in Venezuela. It's deepening, and we've said that many, many times. In Ve Venezuelans report losing an average of 24 pounds in weight per person. And look on your screens. That's the president, Nicolas Maduro, dancing on stage when he announced his bid for re-election. By the way, the starvation crisis has reached the local zoo. Animals are eating each other. And that's not funny, but it happens to be true. Joining us now is the author of Blood Prophets, that's the book, and asymmetric our president, Vanessa Newman, who always works as our reporter on what on earth is going on down there. You know, how many times have we said, I, I have to ask you, the end game, the end of the Maduro regime, surely it's weeks away rather than months away, isn't it? Well, I hope so. So do the Venezuelan people. Interestingly, earlier this week, we had the second cousin of President Nicolas Maduro, a guy called Freddy, Freddy Moros, who's actually a U.S. citizen and lives in Miami. There's a long history of re relatives not getting along was in the U.S. Congress begging for military uh, humanitarian intervention in the country to overthrow his cousin because the situation is so bad. Wait a second, Vanessa. He was looking for the American military to Correct. intervene, not with guns blazing, but with food for everybody. Is that it? Correct. So they want an inter-American, and the volume is growing, he wanted an inter-American defense force led by the U.S., but also presumably other countries in the region like Colombia, Brazil, who are very affected by the immigration crisis, and Peru, to go in there with humanitarian aid. But the humanitarian aid would have to be secured by guys with guns, because right now in Venezuela you have a dystopian horror show of is what's going on. Do you think there's any chance that America will use its military to go in there and secure food reserves with guns? Uh, it, it, it very well might. The volume is growing, requested by Venezuelans themselves and requested by the neighbors. Don't forget that the neighbors, Brazil and Argentina, um, uh, uh, Brazil and Colombia, are facing an exodus that's now of the size of Syria. And in Venezuela, we now have um, the, uh, you know, child mortality is the size of Syria. Once you start comparing uh, the country to, to Syria, you know that you're dealing with a very major problem. And it's also the biggest source of co cocaine and, and oil. It's a unique and horrible situation. Do you think this guy goes down fighting? I mean, yes. Mr. Maduro? You think he's yes. going to retreat to a bunker at some point? Well, I mean, Rex Tillerson has urged him to go and, and retire to a beach in Havana you know, and, re and go back and, and, and retire with his masters in Cuba because it's the Cuban intelligence services that's really running things down there. And I think the U.S. is looking for him to sort of off-ramp gently. Unfortunately, I just don't see any way that, that, that that's going to happen. And the elections are a farce. It's just a way to buy more time and to trick the opposition into giving him international legit legitimacy so that people will fund him. There are, there, are, there are no real elections, and the opposition isn't going to go. I have to ask you this. By the mm -hmm. end of this year, is Maduro gone? He has to be. I just don't see how there's, there is no way this oh. can hold on. I mean, as, as you say, people are actually fighting with each other for food. Every day now, I had a friend co come in from uh, Caracas yesterday and was telling me she looks out her window and every day in a, in a posh area of Caracas, and every day there's someone going through the trash. She comes home and three people are begging her because she's a journalist paid in American dollars mm. if they could give her some food. And how do you decide who do you feed? And it's aggressive and it's just sheer desperation. Okay. Vanessa, thank you as ever for being our reporter, not on thank the you. scene, but you know what's going on and we appreciate it. Vanessa Newman, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sure.